Welcome back to the Cow Water H2O Challenge, where this week we're heading to the city once known as the asparagus capital of America, Stockton, California, to check in with Mr. Sean McCarty and his class of sixth graders. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Akimoto, your host for the 2021 Cal Water H2O Challenge Series. Last week we met Ms. Rachel Lennox and her student team working on creative ways to educate their peers on conserving water. This week, we're checking in with Mr. Sean McCarty to meet his class of sixth graders and see how they're using some pretty advanced technology to better understand water conservation. Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Mr. McCarty, and I'm a sixth grade teacher here at Hoover Elementary in Stockton, California. My class, we are getting ready to uh, grow some California poppies here and learn about uh, native plant species for our Cal Water H2O 2021 Challenge Project. I have applied and we've done this project, I believe, about six years now. We were actually last year's grand prize winning classroom. So we have to continue on the tradition. Our approach this year was um, to involve our new hydroponic O gardens. We brainstormed a bit about the quality of California native plants. And our problem that we're gonna explore in our classroom while we're growing these poppies is that we are using different colored lights um, as an experiment and see if we can come up with a hypothesis or any evidence that would show that different colored light makes plants grow at different rates. Uh, in a state where there are historically lots of droughts year after year after year, we do have to become a little bit more conscious on what we are planting and what we are growing. Our question that we're working on is how can we become more efficient agricultural scientists? Uh, this was a little bit different since we're not in school right now. Mr. Ev set up some lights after we started to watch the old garden. We're still experimenting, you know, putting lights and seeing which light helps the plants grow a lot faster. The process has been okay so far. It is different when we're not in school together. It might be easier to participate and take care of the plant if we were in person, uh, but we are working together. We need to do everything we can to save and recycle water for us to live. Saving water is important without water plants, animals, and our planet would not survive. Where we're going from here is that we're going to um, be doing a little bit more research. We're going to redesign uh, that part of the design process, learning how to graph, where we're gonna go with those graphs, and even just how to read the graph. Um, but right now we are using Cal Water to explore math topics. We're working with fractions and graphing. Um, we are tying it in as well to life science with the plants and lots of just different topics from all of our subjects in the classroom that kind of come together and can build a project around something as cool as growing plants inside. Super impressive, Mr. McCarty and students. Well, we'll be following along with both projects as they advance towards their final submission to the judges. Speaking of which, Next week, we'll check in with a judge to get a better sense for exactly what they're looking for out of our student projects. Until then, see you next time.